Hare Krishna. So this class was given two days ago in Haridwar before Gurudev left for Mathura, back, back to Mathura. The audio is not so good in the Hindi, in the Hindi uh, like recording, so we cannot listen properly everything, but something we can listen, and from what I can understand, I will tell in English, but I'll tell that it's not complete because the audio is not so audible, you know, the, so much echo is there in the recording, so we cannot properly understand everything. So Gurudeva mentions in this in this video we will see about some he's explaining about Iskon and Gaudiya Mat Mart because also one Brahmachari from Iskon he had put some video on the internet saying like not proper things and like uh, misconceptions about Gaudiya Mart he was speaking like bad mis uh, like misconceptions about Gaudiya Mat on the like openly and Shipa Shila Bhaktivedanta Bishnu Maharaj he also did some some video like um, cutting his arguments and telling how he was uh, uh, wrong in many of his conceptions about, in all of his conceptions about Gaudiya Mart. And, and also Gurudev will mention this point here. So if we touch the Ganges, like you'll be free from this material world. Actually, those who live until 100, 100, 100, I think Jojak, I don't know, like if there is the Ganges River and some distance, like 100, I don't know, some measurement, like those who live until like some meters, I don't know exactly what they've said, but I couldn't understand, from the Ganges, also they get benefit on the banks, like to the banks inside the continent, also they get some benefit there is some limit of this uh, distance, Gurudev mentioned. And just by chanting the name of Ganga, all their sins will be destroyed. So Ganga Devi, so pure. Okay, so... The sloka of the Bhagavatam is saying how Shiva is the highest of Vaishnavas, the Ganges is the highest, the best among all rivers. The sloka of Bhagavatam. So, uh, you had been so merciful to me. You gave so much affection to me, all of you here. And Maharaj yesterday, he spoke so beautifully. Maharaj is so much affection, so much, has so much affection. He speaks the truth always. He, he always speaks the truth as it is, according to our Guru Dev's our line. And whenever he sees something's wrong, he goes and tells what is wrong and like uh, against. So someone from Iskon was saying allegations against Gaudiya Mart. And Maharaj, he did, so Maharaj, he did some, like uh, he he opposed like publicly and telling what this Brahmachari was saying wrong, all the points. Like Bhaksana Prapada, if somebody used to say, 
sorry, if somebody used to say anything about Gaudiya Math or wrong, or of course, wrong about Gaudiya Math and Bhaktivedanta and Prabhupada, Shila Bhakti Pragyana and Keshav Goswami Maharaj immediately he used to to protest, like to, you know, go against it and telling the, cutting their philosophy. Immediately you used to reply. Actually, we are all from the Gaura Parivar, from the Mahaprabhu's family. You think, oh, I'm Iskon, I'm Gauriya, no. Iskon is only a name of an institution. Just like, for example, our institution is Gauriya Vedanta Samiti Trust. No, names of institutions. Names of institutions. But we are all belonging to the same family of Mahaprabhu. So like he's saying something like this, I couldn't understand completely. But like if you do these quarrels amongst with like other members of Gaudiya Mahat and these things, actually you are just, it's not like Shala Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj doesn't like this. Like this is not a Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj desire like this. Where did Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj come from? You know, you've heard. He left everything and he came to Mathura. And he stayed with Shila Narayana Goswami Maharaj. And then after that, he took sannyas from Bhakti, Shila Bhakti Pragyana Keshava Goswami Maharaj. And then he went to the Western countries and did all the preaching. And then he gave the name of this institution as ISKCON. That doesn't mean that ISKCON and Gaudiya Mata are different things, no. Just like our institution is called uh, Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti Trust. The name of the institution only. So actually this person who is saying this thing, he's not actually having the Sadhu Sangha. Like he's only like a, it's like Prabhupada, Prabhupada, but actually he's not also following the conceptions of Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. And these kind of people, they are criticizing Gauri Amart. But of course should not blaspheme Gauri Amart. And Maharaj, Maharaj gave some reply to him and explained in a very beautiful way, very nicely, Maharaj spoke. If you, like if you blaspheme Guru Yamata, actually you're blaspheming your own Guru Parampara, you know, your own. So that's why this is nonsense. So Mahaprabhu said, those who, that person who criticized the Vaishnava, not for one birth, but for like seven births, he'll go to hell. And then he'll get leprosy. So she never criticize. So I glorify Maharaj for what he did, you know, he replied to this Brahmachari, cutting his arguments like this. It was very nice, the Maharaj's rep rep replica. 
This must be there. This kind of like uh, someone cutting their arguments. Who is the main Acharya? Is Slabak Siddhanta Prabhupada? And we have all come in the Barampara of Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. Even Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. You now all we come in the in the uh, uh, Parampara of Bhaktivedanta Swami. Oh, of Bhaktivedanta Prabhupada. Shalabak Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. Shalabak Bhaktivedanta Bhav Puri Goswami Maharaj. You all have come in this Parampara. And Vichana Chakravat Pada, he, he, you know, he told the essence of our philosophy. Aradio Bhagavam Rajatanayas. <clears throat> so, this is the mood of Mahaprabhu. So, Srimad Bhakta shows this highest bhav about Parakya bhav. How the gopis they serve to Krishna. So, we came in this parampara. If I say, oh no, I'm Isko, I'm not Gauriya. There's a person who says this, he has less intelligence. There's no difference between Isko and Gauriya, no difference. So his intelligence is like, like he has less intelligence. So I do pranam to, all, to Guru Parampara and to all the Guru Vargas. That may they, that may may them be merciful to me, and then we can all together, everyone together, preach the message of Mahaprabhu. You know, then the story I told also the other day about the squirrel. You know, the squirrel who tried to help Lord Ramchandra. So. Big, the monkeys, they were bringing big rocks, big stones to make the bridge over the ocean to reach Lanka. And a small squirrel, you know, this squirrel, he doesn't have such a strength, right, to bring all those big rocks. So he's very small. But... Okay, for example, there was some sand somewhere. So he used to like ro uh, roll over the sand so that this sand would like be stuck in his body, you know, some sand. And then he used to come to the bridge, to some parts of the bridge. And then he used to like, uh, like shake his body and then the sand was coming out from his body, means like, you know, like falling from his body. So he was to help bringing the sand like this. Because the squirrel thought, you know, the lotus feet of Lord Ramchandra are so soft. How can he step over these hard rocks? So the squirrel is bringing the sand, you know, to try to make this um, better, you know, this bridge. And this is all Leela's. These are all leaders, of course, but the monkeys, they saw this squirrel and the monkey said, ah, come on, look at us, we are doing this, we're bringing the rocks, what is he doing, come on, it's like uh, no use, what is he bringing, some sand, we are bringing the stones, this is important. So the monkeys, they like, a, uh, like, um, over mocking and like, uh, you know, like trying to kick out this squirrel. But then a uh, squirrel, the squirrel took shelter of Lotus Feet of Lord Ramchandra.
And then the Ramachandra made the all understand, look at the mamata, the possessiveness that this squirrel has for me. In front of God, no one is high or small, you know, like big or small. According to the qualification that you have, the adhikar, the eligibility you have, you serve accordingly to that. This is the teaching to us. So Shila Nitalila Pravisa Shila Narayan Goswami Maharaj used to say that Shila Swami Maharaj was directly the Sankirtana Shakti Avesha Avatar, means the incarnation of uh, Harinam Sankirtan of Mahaprabhu. When Sanarayan Goswami Maharaj used to go to Western countries, he used to say, he used to say to the people, Your Guru Dev in Italia Previsa Shila Swami Maharaj. He was the directed Sankirtan Avesh Avatar, the, the incarnation of Sankirtan of Mahaprabhu. Without the desire of God, without the potency of God, nobody could preach like he did. Mahaprabhu himself said. So God gave such a shakti potency in the heart of Swami, Shila Swami Maharaj that he preached in the whole world. Of course, he's in the family of Gauri Vaishnava, our same family. Shila Swami Maharaj took sannyas from Shila Bhakti Pragyan, Keshav Goswami Maharaj. And Shila Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he prepared all the items for sannyasa, for Swami, Shila Swami Maharaj, clothes, clothes, everything. And how can you say, oh, they are Iskon, we are Gauriya, Iskon, Gauriya, Gauriya, Iskon? Those who say these things, they are Kam Buddhiwali, means their intelligence very low, you know, low intelligent people, low intelligence. Or maybe they didn't get uh, the proper teachings of Guru, you know, they actually didn't get in touch with these proper teachings of Guru, of the Guru, you know? Because some uh, ignorant people, they may say everything, anything, you know, they can say anything. But even if it's an ignorant, pers ignorant per person, if he's writing on Facebook or giving these public lectures, speaking these things, this is an offense, it's a parade. Where is our, like, uh, Gauriya, uh, Guru Varga, Shila Bhaktisana Prabhupada, or Guru Varga? Like, they are so high, so elevated. How can he say something like this about them? And even our Guru Varga, like Shila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he trembled, like he made shake the whole, he shake the whole world with his preaching. Shila Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Also Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. All they are Gauriya also. So it's an offense. Now has been uh, 10 years that Gurudeva left. Uh, 
just a parenthesis, a brackets, because this man, this uh, Brahmachari from Iskon, he told in the Kata that Gauri Amata didn't do any preaching, was not doing preaching. Also one thing he said. And then now Guru Dev is saying how he, even 10 years after Sonarayana Goswami Maharaj departed, so many Brahmacharis and sannyasis like they preach whole world and doing so much preaching also. So those who say, oh, Gauri Amata doesn't do any preaching, only Iskon does preaching. They are foolish, foolish, murk. They will get punishment for that. There will not be forgiveness. Mahaprabhu said, those who criticize Vaishnavas, they will get the punishment. So, but then if something changes according to Mahaprabhu desire or not, but Mahaprabhu said this. So, you should never dishonor any Vaishnava, Gauri Vaishnava. And if somebody do, like if someone uh, uh, do this uh, uh, dishonor, so you immediately should give the proper answer, like cut this philosophy. Saying foolish, you have to go in front of all Gauri Vaishnavas now and like public, like in front of everyone and ask for, beg for forgiveness. Then you'll get uh, aus auspiciousness, like you'll get benefit, like then it'll be like good for you. Otherwise, life after life, birth after birth, birth you'll never get any auspiciousness. Even your own guru will not give mercy to you. If you do offense to the feet of Bhagavan, Bhagavan says, okay, I'll forgive you. But if someone does offense in the feet of my devotee, Vaishnav, Bhagavan says, no, no, I don't forgive you. Example we see is the of Durvasan and Barish Maharaj. You know that story? So, So Facebook doesn't mean that you can write anything about anyone just because you want to be famous, you want to speak many things. You can so that man, that the, this Brahmachari who was saying this thing, he's completely foolish. But actually you see like the way he speaks, actually he's not a foolish person, like you know, he's not a... You know, he has some uh, education, you know, he's, he's speaking night, like uh, he's, uh, you understand, like uh, he, by what, the way he speaks, you can see he's not uh, completely foolish, like this education language, you know, this language is a good language, you understand, like, like this. So he's a Pandit Murka, so there are, there the Murka Pandit and the Pandit Murka, Pandit means uh, like a scholar and the Murka means foolish. So he's like Pandit Murka because he's like a Pandit, like he has education, scholarship, like he's a, you know, like instruction, he has like a knowledge, but he's a Murka, he's a foolish, he's foolish. So? So I pray to everyone that we may never criticize. Mahaprabhu said, never criticize anyone, just speak Krishna, Krishna, and then you'll conquer God who is unconquerable. So you never should criticize anyone. And like you should just serve to Lord according to your qualification. And you see Maharaj, he serves so nicely. He also has like a beautiful voice singing so beautifully.
his Gopi Gita, he sings so beautifully. And uh, I w humbly ask, like, for him, I like, uh, sorry, let me listen again. I think that some recording of his singing Gopi Gita in the YouTube. Yeah, like I request, like humbly, that he sings Gopi Gita because he sings, he sings so nicely Gopi Gita. Such a beautiful. I saw in the YouTube. And the Brahma Gita also. In such a beautiful way. So you go please to the YouTube and check this Gopi Gita song by Maharaj. It's so beautiful by Shila Bhaktivedanta Vishnu Maharaj. Sometimes I listen to this recording. So sweet. Also, sometimes I listen to the Harikata of this Maharaj, of, 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 of him. His, his Harikata, I listen also. So sweet. So uh, again and again, do pranam to Maharaj. So that again, in uh, birth of the birth, I can have this desire to serve Vaishnavas. Yeah, it's not going to be there. 